Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my paint area and welcome to my channel. Um, I'm gonna do, I'm obsessed with doing vases. I got this nice little one, um, it's not that big. Uh, I'm gonna do an a, a 8 by 10 canvas. Um, I've already wiped down with alcohol get all residue or even hairs anything out of it okay so I'm doing another base I'm gonna use colors that I haven't used yet at this point um, I'm gonna use gold which I love um, this is uh, um, an antique gold by folk art I love this paint it's very thick at the same time um, it dries out and it doesn't crack or anything depending I mean if you put a lot of water in it then it'll crack but if you put the right amount of water it won't crack um, I'm using all-purpose glue this is my first time because I usually mix my paints with just water and I've noticed that it makes it kind of chalky and kind of matte but I'm using glue for the first time this is all-purpose glue and it's clear let me show you the bottle I found it at Walmart and I thought I would try it's an all-purpose clear glue I'm just giving this a whirl I'm giving it a try <clears throat> I don't know if it creates cells I don't even know but um that's what I'm using I thought I'd give it a try because I've been doing just water and I thought you know let me just try glue I've seen a lot of people doing it with glue and you know what I've been complaining about my white being so chalky and not having the right consistency and as soon as I put that glue on it it made it so creamy the consistency was you know like I don't understand I don't know how to explain it but when when I was doing this, see, I could never get that with water. Never, 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 never. But I'm hooked on this glue and I'm definitely gonna see the results on um, at the end when it's all dried. So we'll see if it has like a chalky effect. I mean, I'm just, this is my first time using the glue so i'm learning as i go and if you guys you know find this interesting and a little insight if you're just using water it's okay but you have to have the right consistency with the water because it will crack if you use too much water or not too much water you know like you don't balance it out so let's get this started i want to start with the gold Let's just go in there. Gold. Let's do the red. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit of white since, you know, it's a little bit more creamier this time. I got these really cool bottles. I know everybody's using them, but I got them at Walmart and you know you can put the little cap right there so it's not hanging very affordable i'm gonna put white in here so that it can give it a little then i'm gonna put black After black goes gold. I'm just gonna throw it in there. I'm not even gonna measure it. <laughs> I love going and doing it. I love doing it like this. I am feeling like this is a little bit thick on the thick side, but I don't know. We'll see. And um I don't know how the glue is going to react, but 
I may have some cells in here. I'm not sure. I am learning just as much as you are for all the beginners because creating cells is wonderful, but not on every single paint, you know? We'll see. Let's just see. That's a lot of black. I don't even think I want to put too much black on there. But I think it's going to create cells. I feel it. This mixture is a bit on the thick side. Might be the glue. I don't, I'm not sure. Let's see, guys. I mean, like I said, we are learning as we go. And at the same time, um, not all the paint is going to be the same. You know, your art is not ever going to be the same as another. And everything is always so different. So just keep that in mind. Just go with the flow. Have fun with it. And then, you know, expect nothing. <laughs> because you will not get what you're expecting. And waste no paint. I am scraping this to the end. I waste no paint. I don't really, I mean, at first I used to save the paint that was left over but now i like to mix you know the paint to where i don't have to save it because i don't know when's the next time i'm gonna paint and then it might dry out or you know things like that so i try to not save any paint unless i have a place to store them or you know a sealed container that's not gonna let air in and then it dries out so I don't know how that works, but I don't like to have a lot of leftover because I don't have a lot of storage space. But if you have storage space, then hey, you know, good for you and save all the paint you can. But I personally cannot save any paint. So I kind of try to, that's why I use these little cups so I won't make too much. I'm not gonna put any more black on here because that's a lot of black. Maybe a little bit more. I like black. Okay guys, let's get this out the way. Let's see what is gonna happen here. Let me put all this paint away. Excuse me. <laughs> that was weird. Okay. All right. This is going to be different. And anyways, um, if I don't like it, I can always... Oh, wait. If I don't like it, I can always wash it off because this is water-based colors. Oh, my goodness. I'm loving it already. pink in there. Uh, I saw some pink and I did not use pink. <laughs> that was weird. There's pink in here. There really is pink in here. That's a good example of you don't know what you're going to get. a good example of you're not gonna get what you <laughs> you don't know what you're gonna get wow that was a real good example of it all right i 
think it was, did I, yeah, I think I did. I put, what I did was put the white next to the red. And this is why, yep. I put the red next to the white. That's what happened. exactly what I did. I put the red next to the white, so what do you think is going to happen there? It's going to turn into a pink. Yep. Hmm, this is cute. I'm leaving it alone because I tend to mess with it too much. I am very picky. So I tend to, you know, mess with it too much. Oh, this is cute. It's really nice. Here we go. It's actually nice. And actually, the um, the paint actually just runs down on its own. So, and the bubbles are popping by itself. So, it's pretty good. I'm gonna let this drip down, and I shall be back, guys, to show you the rest. All right, guys, I removed it. Let's see what we got here because. I really didn't like the way the vase came out, so if you don't see this video, it's because I didn't like what happened. So, and I'm not liking the middle here. Let's stretch this out because I'm really not liking what's going on here. <laughs> I don't like it. I didn't want the pink. So let's just stretch it out and see what happens. Because I'm not liking it at all. I don't like this one. But you never know. Let me just stretch it out. This is what I mean when I say <laughs> you don't know what you're going to get. See, I, I added the white. I think I added too much white next to the red, and it just turned pink. So, no red for me next time. Nope. Like, yeah, it looks good. It looks nice. It's just not what I was expecting. looks good for like a background for you know a background looks good for like a background I guess I'm doing the 
base over. I'm going to keep this one because I like it. It came out really nice. This will be a single canvas without the base. Well, unless I drop it. <laughs> Whoa! Almost did. So, I'm going to keep it because, you know, I can do other stuff with it. I, d I like the patterns. I like the patterns on it. It's just not what I expected, but it's still a painting, and it looks really nice. All the gold and stuff. It's really pretty. It's pretty, but not what I was looking for. And there's a cell right there that popped up. Let me give you a little tour, guys. See? It's pretty. It's shimmery. I'm going to keep it because I can just put some vinyl quotes on it. and Yeah. Well, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on my next video. Happy painting, guys. Bye-bye.